Dear students, under the topic definite integrals, here we have problem 10. Already we have completed problem 1 to 9. So here the question is to prove that integral 0 to pi logarithm of 1 plus cos x dx is equal to pi logarithm of 1 by 2. So now in order to prove this, first of all we shall take the integral on the left hand side to be equal to i. So let i be equal to the integral which is there on the left. So the integral on the left is taken as capital I. Now we have to prove that I is equal to pi log 1 by 2. Now by using a property under definite integrals, we know that integral 0 to a f of x dx can be written as integral 0 to a f of a minus x dx that is upper limit minus x dx. Now using this property to our integral, at the place of x we will be replacing by upper limit minus x. What is the upper limit? It is pi. So instead of x, we will replace here by pi minus x. So we get i to be equal to integral 0 to pi logarithm of 1 plus cos instead of x pi minus x dx. So what is cos pi minus x? From trigonometry, we know that cos of 180 minus theta. So cos pi minus x is equal to minus cos x. So this is by trigonometric identity. So cos 180 minus theta lies in the second quadrant and which is equal to negative cos x. So that uh, cos pi minus x over here can be replaced as minus cos x. So i will be equal to integral 0 to pi logarithm of 1. Now uh, here we have cos pi minus x as minus cos x. So we get 1 minus cos x dx. Now this integral i which we have taken we can mark as equation 1 and the integral i which we have obtained now after applying this property we shall mark it as equation 2. Now adding equation 1 and equation 2 we will be getting if you see the left hand side of equation 1 is i and the left hand side of equation 2 is also i and so on the left i plus i will be 2i is equal to both the integrals are same from 0 to pi only so we can have it in common and from the first integral we have log of 1 plus cos x so we will write that logarithm of 1 plus cos x and then plus the second integral we have log of 1 minus cos x dx now here it is like log a plus log b so from logarithm we know by the logarithmic property that log a plus log b can be written as log a b so we can write it as a product in, in a logarithm of product of a and b so in a similar manner we are going to make use of this property over here where a is 1 plus cos x and b is 1 minus cos x and so this integral can be written as 2i is equal to integral 0 to pi logarithm of 1 plus cos x multiplied with because log a b it is so multiplied with 1 minus cos x and dx now this is like log uh, like this is like a plus b so a plus b multiplied with a minus b so algebraic formula we have to use here what is the form algebraic formula we know that if we have a plus b multiplied with a minus b, it can be written as by using the algebraic formula, it is equal to a square minus b square. So this algebraic formula we are going to make use over here. So this is like log a plus b multiplied with a minus b where a is what? 1 and b is cos x. So it is a square minus b square which is 1 square minus cos squared x. So 2i will be equal to integral 0 to pi logarithm of 1 square is 1 only minus so a square minus b square. b is what cos x. So cos squared x dx. But from trigonometry we know that 1 minus cos squared x is sin squared x because sin squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1 is the identity. So from this sin squared x will be equal to 1 minus cos squared x. So using this 
we can replace 1 minus cos squared x as sin squared x in this integral. And what we will get is, so after replacing 1 minus cos squared x by sin squared x, we get 2y to be equal to integral 0 to pi logarithm of sin squared x dx. Now this is actually what it's equal to integral 0 to pi logarithm of, now if you see it can be written as sin x the whole squared dx. And we know that from logarithm, we know that log a to the power b can be written as b log a. So using this, here it uh, a is what? Sin x. And b is 2. So it can be written as 2 log of sin x. So using that over here, this property over here, log a to the power b. So a is sin x, b is 2. So it can be written as this 2 will come in the front and it can be written as 2 log uh, sin x. And 2 is a constant so it can be written outside the integral. So what we get is, so this is equal to twice integral 0 to pi logarithm of sin x dx. Now again we are going to use a property from definite integral which says that we have the property integral 0 to pi f of sin x dx can be written as twice integral 0 to pi by 2 f of sin x dx. So here f of sin x is logarithm of sin x is the function that we have. And here we have the limit 0 to pi. So using this property, this integral can also be written as twice integral. The integral changes as 0 to pi by 2 f of sin x. So f of sin x is what? Logarithm of sin x. This is by property which we did, which we have done in our previous video lecture. That is by using property 6 and its corollary. So kindly go through it before learning about this. So how we have replaced it in this manner. Now this is a problem itself which we have solved already in our previous video lecture. That is problem number is 9. So if you see, uh, see the previous video lecture, we have problem 9, which is 0 to pi by 2 logarithm of sin x dx. So we have arrived at this integral only. And how to solve it, you can learn from that video lecture, which I will try to give in the description box or in the first pinned comment. So kindly check, check that link and follow that problem uh, in order to conclude this problem. So now what is the, uh, what have we evaluated this integral as? It has been evaluated as, pi by 2 log of 1 by 2. So we will take and substitute this. So kindly go through the video lecture which we have already done. That is problem 9. So up, substituting that over here we get twice. This integral is pi by 2 logarithm of 1 by 2. And on the left we are having 2i. So this 2i we have to write. So 2i is equal to this. Now this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled. And what, what we will get? And uh, before this also I have stepped uh, missed one step here. That is this integral is equal to twice. So already this integral has a 2 over here. That 2 I forgot to multiply. So 2 multiplied with this is the solution for this integral. Twice integral this one. So this 2 has to come over here. So remember to put that. So this 2 will also be carried over here. So this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled. And I will be equal to. And this 2 and this 2 can also be cancelled. So I will be equal to pi logarithm of 1 by 2. So therefore we have evaluated I to be equal to pi logarithm of 1 by 2. The I is the integral that we have to evaluate. So therefore we have proved that uh, the I which we have taken that is integral 0 to pi logarithm of 1 plus cos x dx. So we will write that I is integral 0 to pi logarithm of 1 plus cos x dx and that is equal to pi logarithm of 1 by 2. So hence we have proved the required problem. So this is the question. So we have to prove that it is equal to pi logarithm of 1 by 2. So we have proved that it is equal to pi logarithm of 1 by 2. So kindly go through these calculations very patiently and don't forget to write this 2 which we have carried previously. So that also should come over here. So I hope you have understood this problem. Thank you.